Okay, using this pile of junk here, I made a MIDI controller. Uh, this is not an instructional video of how to do it yourself. I may be able to answer some questions if you have them about what I've learned, um, but it took me a lot of programming and practicing, but here's my result. All right, so obviously this is more of like in the prototype stages. I'd like to polish up what I'm doing here, um, but it's working great. I figured out the programming. I didn't want to get too carried away with the project before figuring out if I could understand the programming. Um, but I ended up using an Arduino Uno. This is actually a knockoff, but I would recommend using an Uno size board. It just gives you a lot of options for whatever you want to end up doing with your setup, and they're pretty cheap. Um, the one thing I would say is this one has a different style USB chip. Um, which won't allow it to be recognized as USB over MIDI by your computer. So if you're not wanting to run a USB cable, but want to hook up to like, let's say Helix FX, or sorry, uh, Helix Native, or some other thing you want to do within your DAW, then I wouldn't recommend using this one just because it has to have that uh, other chip to be able to do that. Um, and then as for the screen, uh, I just simply have mine displaying my four snapshots uh, that I have assigned to each switch. That's, I don't know if that's focused. Yeah. So... Um, to do that, I ran this simple 16 by 2 uh, LCD display, which means you have 16 characters available across two lines. Um, some of them are just the LCD itself. This one has this chip attached to it, which means you only have to hook up four wires instead of running every single uh, wire to the uh, connectors here and soldering each one to the board. So I would recommend getting one of them that has this little chip on it. I'll put a uh, description explaining what this chip is and what it's called. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Um, so yeah, you can do whatever you want. Uh, that's kind of the cool aspect of it, but it is a lot of learning and programming and weird stuff that I've never really messed with before. But yeah, if I can help clarify something or send you an article on how to do something, feel free to ask me. I'm definitely not an expert on them yet, but it's something I want to start messing with now, now that I see what it's capable of. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video showing what I built. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. God bless.